Hello YouTube from your Uncle Lucifer here today early in the new year of 2012 to talk about that same much talked about year. And to our first time viewers I say no I am not the devil. Obviously I am just the electronically altered voice of our producer Neil Fox fooling around with his audio software. There is a psychic channel of sorts behind some of what we do here at the Lucifer series but it is not what people call demons and the like and we conduct ourselves far too casually for people to take the videos very seriously on that score. Actually, without meaning to upset the sensibilities of the religious folk among our viewers, I must say that the Lucifer series sees the devil as a rather unlikely proposition. This notion of a supernatural prince of darkness who sets about to spread bad energy for its own sake because, well, that's simply what he enjoys doing. Actually, the name Lucifer was not even originally a reference to the devil. It was a pejorative against Roman paganism, and coincidentally enough, the Lucifer series is a neo-pagan line of videos, specifically a Wiccan line, or perhaps neo-Wiccan, occult Wicca, uh, something that anyone is free to look into at the channel page of Mr. James Neil Fox, where all this is explained. Our video, Lucifer on the Serpent, is a good introduction, too. But today I am not here to talk about that. No, just now I shall be discussing the prospects for the new year of 2012 and making certain forecasts. Namely, tensions building in 2012 that beyond this year will eventually engender a monumental and quite apocalyptic war in the Middle East. Then there is the related but sometimes distinct matter of Iran and Israel, and, of course, the possibility of the senseless and tragic assassination of President Obama, which is most likely to occur this year. All very serious questions that generally we would uh, save for later in the video and never open with. To the contrary, normally we would start with a good laugh, a lighthearted skit perhaps before settling down to whatever heavy or involved topic might be at hand. But today we begin the new year on a more straightforward note. This is because we received a question from someone graduating this year who said she was scared. Now, if we take this person at her word, one must consider that when someone is nervous or concerned or frightened, they do not appreciate a lot of kidding around. This person's concern was political, and so I shall concentrate on political and social realities here and simply dismiss the pseudoscience attached to the 2012 syndrome. The idea, you know, of a planetary magnetic pole reversal, or some collision with a non-existent planet, or whatever. This ignorance is scarcely worth anyone's notice, a matter of understanding that science does not allow for such scenarios. Magnetic pole reversals do happen to planets, of course, but nothing like that will be happening for the reasons given by New Age authors on the subject of 2012. It's just silly. Nonetheless, mass realities often come of mass expectation, and among sensitive and psychically vulnerable folk, uh, expectations are so dire about 2012 that it could well be a very volatile year in terms of self-fulfilling dread and the surreal romance that so many of you out there have for the high drama and finality of disaster itself. And let us not forget all the evangelical Christians out there in love with the doom and gloom of the book of Revelation and what they make of it. Face it, one way or another, catastrophe and mass death is any number of people's favorite cosmic movie. One big disaster flick where everybody comes together in the face of adversity and heroes are made. <laughs> and you wonder why your personal lives are so screwed up. <laughs> Of course, whether I am right or wrong in what I say about 2012 will be borne out over time, so I do not expect to be believed one way or another. It is just a matter of weighing probabilities and then waiting and seeing, that's all. The Lucifer series is pragmatic, and in formal pragmatism, prediction has a lot to do with verification. Absolute truth is set aside in favor of relative degrees of validity a matter of statistical merit that belies coincidence. So here it is. I say your earthly civilization is to come to ruin, but not this year. This year, however, your President Obama, as I say, is in danger of being the target of a very serious bomb plot. If there is no such attempt on his life this year, then the danger abates somewhat, 
and becomes less probable. There is no fit, just probability. But as probabilities go, this one is strong and strongest this year of 2012. As for the 2012 presidential election, while it is entirely possible for the Republican nominee to win the White House this time around, I say that such a victory can only come if there is no major attempt on Obama's life. A serious assassination attempt will turn public sympathy Obama's way and decide the election no matter how close it might have otherwise been. Even if he dies, his running mate benefits politically. Nonetheless, the assassination is in the hands of just about one man, an unstable and essentially self-destructive character, so he may well fail to get very far with his plan. His plan is sound enough, and it is the only such plan that has any chance of success, but I must concede, he is quite a piece of work. So if this one probability simply fizzles, then the Republicans do have some chance of winning a narrow victory. Nonetheless, since there is only but a cheap dollar's worth of difference in foreign policy between the Democrats and Republicans, the world situation will be more or less the same in any case. The only difference being that war with Iran will be more in the offing under the uh, Republicans, while a Democratic administration would be more reluctant to rush headfirst into such a conflict. Aside from the tragic loss of life and limb and many a sound mind, the economic cost of such a war would be the straw that finally broke the camel's back. So, basically, for those of you out there who love your disaster movies and want to get your apocalypse well underway because you find it so exciting and you imagine you will be, oh, swept up into the skies by your god Yahweh, well then, go with the Republicans. As I promise you, they will get you there sooner while the Democrats, being literate sorts given to reading books, would more or less muddle along managing your nation's decay as best they might, which will make for a longer road to your destruction than what the Republicans, being bold men of action, are inclined toward. Now, Fox has seen Vice President Joe Biden as the new president and witnessed Biden dealing with huge problems in Africa that spill over into the Middle East. At this point, it is not hard to figure that the revolutions that began in the North African countries of Tunisia and Egypt and Libya, and which now erupt in Syria and elsewhere in the Middle East, will not satisfy the public dissent over there that instigated them. No, the new governments in these regions will ultimately try to distract their electorates with angry rhetoric directed against the modern state of Israel. Sadly, a massive war with Israel will be the tragic result of these same revolutions. Tragic as much for the Palestinian people and the Islamic world as it will be for Israel. Even though none of this need blow up in 2012, the tension shall build and build conspicuously, I assure you. And if it does happen in 2012, do not be too surprised by it. I cannot know the hour of such things. Frankly, Israel relied on the dictatorship in Egypt playing ball with the U.S. as to Egypt's uh, policies, and Israel even finally had Libya where it wanted. All of this is over now. At the end of the day, these new regimes will desperately seek to turn attention away from domestic dissatisfaction to the irresolvable conflict between the Palestinians and the Israeli right wing, and so to war. Democrat or Republican, it will matter little who is in charge on this score. What is coming is coming. Still, with the uh, Republicans, it looks to be so much more eventful. Everybody's free to disregard the uh, text on this screen. It's just attributing certain images to certain uh, sources according to the uh, requirements of a certain type of licensing agreement. The Lucifer series is paranoid about Washington, D.C. and where it's at with the Internet and copyright and where that might be going. I'll have to talk about that sometime. But, uh, yeah, this has been a heavy video, and uh, I should end off uh, talking about the heaviosity of the whole thing rather than my concerns about the Internet and copyright and all of that. Uh, as I finished up this video, it was reported on the news that Gabrielle Giffords, the congresswoman who was the victim of a, an assassination attempt in Arizona uh, and survived a point-blank shot in the head, uh, this uh, same woman who has been an inspiration to her supporters for the last year in her just miraculous recovery, has finally announced that she is not going to finish her term. She did that on YouTube today. Uh, it's sad. Uh, everyone, I guess, should have expected it, but still, you're kind of hoping for a miracle, and it really was something that she 
could walk away from this, the you know, massacre where so many other people were murdered by this lunatic. And I can't help but see it as a sign. Uh, it was Tea Party vitriol on the airwaves locally in Arizona in her district. There was all this toxic anger and resentment about Obama's health care plan, and it was they were all venting on her for having voted for it, and some kind of pseudo self-styled libertarian whack job took it on himself to uh, try to kill her. And uh, hey, she could uh, get up from that with something. It's like she just came back from the dead. Still, reality sinks in, and her life from now on is going to be about recovering from what happened. And I cannot help but feel that as this has gone, so it might go with Obama. I've seen in dreams very strongly that Biden is the, the president, but it could just as easily be that Obama is incapacitated by injuries from the attack rather than that he's necessarily dead. But still, that will leave Biden the acting president. There's no science to this. A lot of it's just my analysis and spin off of patterns that have been going on since 1980 and things coming full circle. And I could talk about all that sometime, but it's pointless to talk about it if none of it really proves out. It's whether or not it actually happens as to whether it's interesting how I might have arrived at it. So and until it does happen, I think it's discreet to, you know, just uh, downplay that for now.